Alright guys, here we go. This is the sequel of Magic and Mayhem, uh, The Art of Magic. I'd say I basically would put quotes around that sequel part because this doesn't really follow any story prior to the previous game at all. It's a completely new story in its own. Um, and this has... Well, so I'll just turn the uh, sound down a bit. But this game has definitely come a lo longer way than its predecessor, yeah, predecessor, and as you can see, the whole system has changed a bit. It's a lot more smoother. Um, so let me just turn this music down a little. Bit. I like the music actually better than the volume, so you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, turn everything to high quality um, because it deserves it. And for this, I'm not exactly sure what's meant to be the best either mesh or skin. I have no idea what that means. Um, I'm assuming mesh just means the whole model uh, looks like a mesh, but the skin, it looks like parts of it has been sort of rendered separately, so to make it more refined of each model. Uh, being a games designer, this is kind of, you know, spitting, you know, spitting ideas out there. I'm not sure if this is the way it's meant to be, but you know, whatever. Uh, game speed uh, seems to be okay. Um, fog of war seems okay as well. I actually have that a bit more rapid because it means that the, the fog of war will tend to dissipate quicker. And that's kind of what you want, really. You don't want it to just delay so long. Especially in a sort of slow paced game like this, you know, you want it to just <laughs> go and go in, go ahead and go as quick as possible. Uh, I will need to restart my computer. I'm sorry. Ugh. I will need to restart my game for all these changes to take effect. Well, let's do that right now then. So bear with me, guys. I shall be right back. back guys we are literally started this again I uh, just restarted the game uh, to take all the effects of the controls that we're going oh, controls uh, the models and the sound I guess I'm assuming that's what it wanted me to really start rather than just the the, um, the options and the creature models in the game perspectives I guess the particle effect really for high quality this game was made quite a while ago so pretty sure any game, any computer worth a damn is going to run this game at max settings, no problem whatsoever. Um, and it is one of my favourite games to play, and after playing its, um, after, after playing its previous game, I can definitely say without a doubt, I have a much better appreciation for this game now. You know, this is my, one of my favourites for a reason, this is so much more better to play it. Um, Still has some flaws, don't get me wrong, but we'll go, we'll literally address those when we get to them. Okay, we're gonna go through this mode, uh, this whole game, um, in a new campaign, but they also have a new um, mode called Battle, which is basically, well, the multiplayer doesn't work because they, they, they don't have any working servers that you can play anymore, although you may find online some peer fans have made, um, uh, what's the name? Um, they probably they've probably made their own servers to get this working or not, or mods or whatever. So maybe who knows? Um, this is just something that uh, you can do on your own spare time, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's one of those fun, interesting things. And um, like I said, I'm much better appreciation because I, I just like the way this game is made and is a lot more fluid and goes and just flows very neatly. And you can definitely notice that once the um, the graphics set in once you, you take a look at it. So we're going to go start a new campaign, so let's jump in. In the beginning, man used magic against man. Wars ripped apart the earth as mankind stood on the brink of his own destruction. And then he came, the Magistrator. An all-powerful wizard, the Magistrator was finally the one who could hold the magics of the earth in balance. He forged three magic orbs to harness the powers of law, neutral, and chaos. 
the Chaos Orb was presented to the Chaos Lords of the Southern Deserts. The Lawful Orb to the Elven people who lived on the Western Isle of Azoria. The Neutral Orb was given to the Druids that ruled the forest lands of Albion to the north. Peace at last prevailed. Each orb balanced by the other two. No nation was all-powerful. Each respected the strength of the other. For many glorious years, this balance remained intact, and the many kingdoms lived peacefully and flourished. But the Magistrator was mortal, and old age finally took its toll. When he died, the orbs remained his legacy. The following autumn, in the forest lands of Albion, a huge magical explosion killed the neutral druid leader and destroyed the neutral orb that he held. With the neutral orb destroyed, Albion's protection and the balance of the world had ended. The elves, seeing the unbalance that this brought, withdrew to the Azorian Isle, severing all contact with the world, while the Chaos Barbarians, led by the Necromagus, looked to the newly exposed lands of Albion with greedy eyes. It is now 18 years since the Magistrator died, and rumors are afoot that Chaos forces have entered the fair land of Albion. In the north, the villagers of Olicano still go about their business in calm. And this is where our story begins, on the day a young man named Orax comes of age. Wow, what an intro. It's immensely better than what it was in the previous game. It has definitely come a long way. Um, bear with me because I want to share something. Okay, according to this, the game was made. Um, because I have no lights on this. In my room right now, sorry. Um, how is this game developed now? Say. So. Oh. Uh, sorry, I couldn't turn on my light. Two thousand, two thousand one. Um. Really, it was made by Virgin Interactive. Hmm. Did not know that. Well, there you go. So, Virgin Interactive made games, apparently. Uh, little tidbit things that they you never knew existed until they were around, I guess. And I um, accidentally came this I came across this game in one of their stores back in the days when they actually had um, retail stores that were selling video games and CDs. We all remember those, I think. Uh, if you're at least older than 20, you should remember them. Uh, and I picked this game up, and I'd actually never realised it was potentially meant to be. Um, the same type of game that Magic Mayhem was. I just picked it up and thought, okay, uh, it looks okay. Uh, but my computer at the time was so bad, it, could, it couldn't even run it. So I was pretty much, you know, because back in those days, uh, you, all you could do was buy the game, and if it didn't work, well then, you know, either you didn't like it, you didn't work, or you just never cared for it, well then, that's, you know, all the game was really bad. It's, it's one of those things, you just sort of deal with it. You know, it's on your shelf forever. Um, but nowadays, obviously, things have changed, and um, a lot more things taken into effect. But, uh, yeah, uh, basically, it is definitely, again, I know I keep saying it's one of my favourite games, but we will go through this, um, like, in the hardest difficulty, as I promised. And the instant bad thing about this is the voice acting. It has voice acting, which means I don't need to read out all this crappy dialogue that keeps coming out. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, the dialogue is back, don't get me wrong. The story is cheesy at best, but you know what? It works, and I, yeah, you know, I, it's still enjoyable. You know, the fact that it's a lot more solid storyline, and uh, you'll get to experience all that once it happens. So let's go, let's go in, start about the game. Sorry for uh, all the delays I'm giving you. Oh, oh, 
I must have slipped in. My party last night lasted so long into the night, I fear I may have missed the entire day. Oh, I must find Father to see if there's any work he needs me to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Move Orax, left click on Orax is selected. Yeah, trust me. It's exactly the same controls as it was in Magic of Eden. There's no doubt about that. And... Ooh, got dialogue. Good morning to you, Orax. It was a good party last night, was it not? You are correct, Emus. It was. I've only just woken. Ha, ah, yes. I remember you last night. You were there until the very end. I think I may have enjoyed myself a bit too much. Ha, ah, you may be right. Anyway, back to work. It won't get done by itself. See you around. And you. Uh, so yeah, there is a lot more dialogue and there's just random NPCs that walk around in the levels as well. You'll find them randomly here and there. Uh, not all of them are wizards this time, which means you're not randomly spouting on uh, your magic trying to defeat the wizard that's currently on the level as that stupid daft uh, storyline was in the last game. So. At least this has a lot more of a plot to it, and a lot more innocent as well. Um, well, that arrow seems to be speeding up a lot faster than it needs to be, but okay. Because <laughs> I'm used to it like being uh, just a sort of bobbing slowly, slowly like it was in the last last game, but oh well. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go see. As you can see, everything's different. Now here we go. When you request icons, when you approach a character and they wish to speak to you, Request icon will appear in the top left corner. Right click on this if you wish to talk to them. Now this is important to know this because talking to people again, like they have introduced into the last game, will get you uh, points, requirement points. And yes, this is still in this, this version of the game. So, you know, accumulating all the objectives to get the maximum amount of points on each level will be paramount to this game. Um, I know it's a little arbitrary, but trust me, it's a l if, the, if the game is fun in general, then you'll be happy to do those, okay, trust me. It's all, it's all about trying to get the most out of each level. So just, uh, you know, just carry on the game, carry on the storyline as what it is. So yes, uh, we're going to do that right now. Good day, Borden. Good day, Orax. Today you come of age. Our hopes are with you. I thank you. Well, there you go. So, uh, not much of a dialogue there, but hey, whatever. It seems to be the way it is. Now, the way these levels work is they're a lot more... Some of them are a lot more shorter than others. You, sometimes you just be on there briefly for no more than, honestly, a few minutes. So, the way I'm going to be doing this is going to be having a, a massive run-through, a playthrough of, like, maybe a few hours or something, and then just cut it down into parts for, like, each half an hour or something. So that should work out pretty pretty well, I think. You know, so I'll, I'll try and keep it as consistent as possible, but that's essentially the best way I, I can do this. Can I talk to any of these guys, girls? Um, yeah, and as you can see, the, the, the camera system is different as well. Like the level, it's isometric and it can also be top down, and it can be zoomed in. It's just so much better. They really, it, it feels so much better just having the game played like this. You know, it's very, very nice. Um, I actually think I might, well, I might want to turn down the fog of war because I think what I've done is... Because of this game, this, this computer of mine is quite powerful, um, it's rendering things differently and I'm getting a call, so my apologies, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, literally just had to take a phone call there. Well, I say just. <laughs> a lot of things have happened since I um, just literally said I was going to be right back. Um, <clears throat> where it may have been literally only a second or two for you, it has literally been three days for me since I had to do a lot of things in the meantime. So, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a drastic change, but whatever. We're back at this game now, and... You know, we're um, leaving where we left off, which is basically walking around and finding new NPCs to talk to, uh, because this is one of the changes that have happened with this game. So this, I think this woman here wants to talk to us, let's call her. Congratulations to you, Aurax. Oh, 
a man at last, in age and spirit. I must prove myself worthy of the title. You will do so. No one doubts it. Ah, there you go. Everyone's very, very friendly about this, and, uh, damn, that's weird. Pixelated cleavage. Um, yeah, as you can tell, the... The game's sort of, um, a lot more smoother to move as well for the characters. as well. It's, it's very, very nice. Very much more responsive. Which is an absolute godsend compared to what the first one was. You click on something, and it, they, they're still sort of continuing... So like if I'm clicking here, it continues to walk this way for a couple of seconds before he decides to turn around. And was just frustrating as hell to deal with. Um, so you're basically in the village of Alicano, you're getting these random people walking around. They're doing nothing, essentially. Um, but you also have these, uh, like you did in the first one, you have these little um, scrolls here. I think which explains about, you know, fun functions that you can do. Um, functions that you functions that you have in your keyboard that can do uh, with uh, you know the mechanics uh, of the game which is pretty handy I, I would say I like that you can also rotate the camera by depressing the center mouse button and pushing the left or right of the screen huh alternatively you can press numpad Seven or nine. Ah, okay. See, look, that is amazingly convenient. You can do this now by rotating it there. I would definitely suggest using that. That is something that you're going to need to use. Uh, so you know, that's that's pretty handy, and I like that. Um, so we're going to the end of the pier to speak to our father, who is I forget his name now. Um, uh, what's his name? Ah, won't even say. But yeah, he basically is a character that is shown up on here. Um, he doesn't actually fight with you, so I don't know why he bothers having a health and mana. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. Father. Orax, my son. Jedin. How are you on this, your birthday? I'm still tired from last night. I've only just awoken and almost missed an entire day. Ah, son, it makes me so proud to see the man you have grown into. Even a man who cannot handle a party. Oh, father. But you are awake now, and I have a task for you. This morning, your sister left the village to gather herbs in the forest to the north. Those who went with her have returned. She has not. I shall seek her out. Take care, son. The forest is no longer as safe as it once was. Fear not, father. I shall return with Nadia before the sun has set. I shall await you. Oh, so nice to not have to read dialogue anymore, and the voice acting is mm, mediocre at best, again, like I said before, but it's, you know, whatever, it's a definite change of pace, and certainly helps out with, um, you know, trying to get this game uh, forward together, because, I mean, I clearly didn't do justice to the storylines game, um, the dialogues game, uh, sorry, for Magic and Mayhem's dialogue in the last game. I mean, because let's face it, I was I was uninterested, I was a bit bored, and it was kind of stupid, you know, that the story was absolutely pointless, as far as I'm concerned. So, um, we're not going to bother trying to dwell on that anymore, that was in, that's in the past, and now this is what it is, the future. Uh, so we can still talk to more people, I think, yep. Greymark, you look injured. I was set upon by goblins. They came from nowhere. These days, the goblins run wild. Yes. The demons of chaos wage war in the south of our fair Albion. And the fear spreads even as far north as here. Let us hope these chaos warriors do not follow. If they are not stopped soon, we must send our greatest druids to join the forces assembling in Albion. Do you think it'll come to that? I think the time may well be close at hand. I hope you are wrong, Greymark. So do I. Ah, see, there's a little, there's a few things going on already about the game that uh, has basically been established that um, goblin hordes have been infested. And from what you saw in the opening cutscene, the Chaos Lords have turned their attention to Albion in the neutral lands with greedy eyes. So you can see, like, this, there's a proper, much more structured story set up on here that makes sense. You know, you're not just looking for your uncle that turned out to be your father. No, you're looking around for your sister but also wary of the lands 
of Albion London, which is, I think, um, a Latin term for uh, nature, a natural, uh, the neutral lands or something. Um, because, you know, you hear Albion quite often in these types of video games. I like in, in the Fable series, you've heard Albion much more times than you needed. <clears throat> Uh, because it's not the same. It's not referring to the same place. Because it's actually referring to a double meaning, as it were. Uh, but I don't really know the specific meaning of it. Uh, but uh, you know, that's that's what it is. What it is. Let's read some more dialogue. Let's do it. Ah, Aurax, you are looking fit. Thank you, my tour. We received some news of the unrest in the south. The scrolls are inside. If you want to look. I shall do so. <laughs> He's got a funky, deep voice. Uh, yes, we know how to look at scrolls. Um, what we got here? Okay. Ah, so this is a bit of interesting, a bit of backstory here. The lawful elves of Zoria recently cut off all remaining links with Albion. In a public announcement, King Helicus verified that Azoria will remain isolated until balance is restored. Uh, returned once more. To be honest, I actually like the word restored. So balance is restored. Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'll go I'll stay with that. What's this one? The recent attempts to make peace with chaos have failed. Lord Numinon has requests No sorry. Lord Numinon now requests the presence of all neutral wizards in Karnak to discuss the inevitable confrontation with the Necromagus. Numinon uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but he's basically the, I think, one of the uh, neutral l lords that governs over the areas of, of Albion, I think, but he's not the full-blown leader of it, basically. not He's not a magistrate, uh, but we'll get to that. Um, what's this now? Numenon announced that all attempts to find a successor to the Magistrate have failed. The last of the missionaries have returned to Karnak without news of one who can once again bring peace to the land. Well, there you go. Um, so you see, like, I don't mind reading these things, at least, because it's a bit of backstory. It gives you premise to the game. It actually, it's a lot more structured than the first one. I know I'm whining about that, but it's actually paramount. You know, you were just literally a wizard trying to find your uncle in the last game and uh, ended up killing all these, uh, what, you know, henceforth innocent wizards. Uh, this scroll just tells you about the teleportation with the last game as you had with these pentagrams, sorry, pentacles, that, you know, teleport you into the next level. So we're pretty much going to do that as it is. See? Simple as. No level experience there because there was none to have. And I think this game has a good autosave as well, so it's pretty much autosave for me here anyway. So we're going to go to the Olicano Forest, and we're going to find out where Nadia is. And like I said, guys, like I said, you see here the difficulties, from starts from initiate, we're going to wizard, and we're going to stay at this. I promise this time, and we're, I mean it. So this is what's going to happen. So, we're here. We're somewhere, at least. Um, and as you can see, the first thing we have is a scroll uh, telling us that these apples you can collect. And trust me, they are good. Terrible uh, pixelation here, but uh, hey, that's that's pretty much these day and age graphics or something. I really wish, um, like, a fan would, you know, make a upscaled resolution, or maybe this game could be re, you know, rebooted. Oh, well, not rebooted, rather. Well, yeah, I'd love it. I'd love a reboot, definitely. Um, but certainly a, a HD remake of this game for this day and age. Because I know the company's not around anymore, who I think was the same one as the first one. No, 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 no. no. The first one was uh, Mythos Games. And this one is Virgin Interactive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you get water effects as well. Which, shamefully, you can't go in the water. Nadia! She's ours. I don't think so. Ah, so she's breathing fire. Nadia, 
Are you hurt? No, I'm fine, brother. You could have been killed. No, vicious they may have been, but powerful they're not. When did you learn the art of magic? Today I was to tell you. Yes? Our mother taught me, before she died. All these years, and you never told me? That is why father sent you here, so that I could. If you had known sooner, you may have not used it wisely. It is you, not I, who has it. You have more power than I. The magic in you is strong, Orax. It's just that you've never known what it was. Today, you begin to learn. How can you know I have magic in me? Once you feel it in yourself, then you feel its presence in others, too. These are yours. Ah, okay. The talismans direct your power. If you are truly powerful, you may even summon wolves. How do I do this? Choose the spell by selecting the spell talisman, and then you must select a place where the wolf should be summoned. So, very similar to the first game, uh, you select the spell you want, and you choose where you want in it. It's, as you can see, it's got the same sort of... Um, I wouldn't say crosshair, it's basically got the same uh, mouse icon for uh, the proficiency of the of where the spell can be cast. Clearly, as, as you can tell, if you do that, you have a big X on the bottom of the, um, the icon, telling you you're too far away and you need to summon it closer. So it's based on range, basically. Um, you know, but it's much like, as you can see, the colours that is uh, emanating is blue, green and red. So, law, chaos and neutral. So we'll do that. We'll summon a wolf. You see? In you, the magic is strong. <laughs> yeah, well... Whoa, okay. So, like I said, we've got creatures here. Quickly, Orax. Use your fireball. Attack them with it. So basically, the way this works is the NPCs are essentially trying to help you. Trying to, being the operative word. There you go. Why have they grown so aggressive? The goblins have never been our friends, but never did they attack us in this way. They seemed terrified and had fresh wounds that were not made by us. Something is happening in the forests. We must return to the village. Follow me. Yep. Uh, before we do that though, um, the level requires us, if we want the full amount of points, we're going to need to exterminate all the goblins. Much like the first one, um, we will have to do this. The only problem with this is that the wolf is probably one of the most weakest creatures on this game. It's extremely difficult for him to, like, get anywhere. So, hmm. Maybe if I can group them together. I mean, the good thing is that the wolf is fast and he's getting attacked. Oh no, he's dead. Oh wait, no, he's left. Come back to me, my pet. Yeah, uh, so, you know, as you can see, you can also click on the um, uh, food that you've gathered and give it to the animals that you have. So that's good. Um, and the same way as the last game, you can have these wolves... I'm oh, sorry, you can have your creatures level up into three different types. Oh, he's almost gonna die. And you can also simply hover over them just to make sure whether or not you've got enough. They're gonna survive. There you go. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, it took like four apples, I think, to make sure he survived one goblin. It's terrible, really. You know, it is what it is. Them's the breaks. Um, I'm hoping this will give me some. Oh, okay. So give me a goblin statue. Okay. Enchanted items. These ancient artifacts were created in ages past by powerful sorcerer. 
Vampire for sorcery. Okay. They may be used by wizards to cast a spell with no mana cost. That's right. They are delicate objects and may only be used a limited number of times. Yep, we know how to use well, we know how to use them from the last game. So basically if you click on it once, as you can see a number there, um, you can summon a goblin that has that doesn't require any mana, which is pretty good. You know, you might you'll need that. Um, but like I said, you first get given your um, wizard staff by your sister on the second level. And the first spells you learn are Fireball and Wolf. Hmm. There's a mana sprite there, which is important because we need to regain our mana. Hoping they won't see me, but they might. Again, this is wizard difficulty, so I'm half expecting that. Oh, no. Sorry, yes, if you click on it with your. Um, is it left? Yeah. If you click on it with the left, ma left mouse button, it actually simply puts it down somewhere when you, when you do that. And you don't want that, essentially. Well, you don't want to make that mistake of doing that automatically. Unless you're with allies that need that mana as well. Um, so we're going to right click it and then it will give us the mana which is exactly what we need um, do we have perfect okay so you can see that fireball's got a, quite a bit of range you can see how wide it is and thankfully the goblins are pretty weak so uh, you'll want to make sure you hit all them to save up on mana we're going to save it as well just because I worry about this game crashing on me because it is a relatively old game, so I don't want to be pessimistic about that. Uh, but we have a couple of more goblins here which are going to bite the dust. I think that's all of them. I do want to make sure I leave this level full pointed and everything. Um, you know, because again, you can't go back to these levels once you. Yeah, essentially, you, once you've left the level, you can't go back to accumulate any more points, I'm afraid. It's one of those weird, awkward games. But now so far so good. Um, I think we've accumulated all the points, and now we just go back to Nadia. <coughs> uh, again, Nadia isn't particularly... I mean, she is an ally, but she's not at the same time. Allies, uh, once I get to that, you'll, you'll see in a minute. Or one of the levels, once we go to it. The village. It is under attack. Quickly! Ah, okay. So, our village is under attack. It seems pretty slow. With the way, I think I'm just going to... Bear with me, sorry. I'm probably going to... Do, 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 do. Uh, the game's feeling. We're going to heighten it up a bit. Just to make sure that people are walking just a little bit faster. Yeah, it's not right. The the arrow seems to have slowed down now as well. That's weird. There we go. Full points. Uh, warded off goblins. Killed all goblins. Gained Valerian. Gained staff. Gained deadly nightshade, which I think is all gained one of the spells. Gained new two neutral talismans. We're going to get it for free. And we've also discovered um, a goblin statue, which is amazing, which is good. So we've gotten quite a bit of points there. And as you can see, uh, it's all accumulated into your automatic ca character campaign screen, which you can access any time you want whilst you're in the menu screen, so don't worry about that. Um, what we've got at the moment is we're starting off with 200 health, 60 mana, and 10 control limit. Now, from what I did from the last game was I focused mainly on mana because spells in this game get really expensive. And you'll want to cast as many as possible. To me, control limit is a second importance, but not majorly important. Health is not even close to wherever, really. Because you are as a wizard, you can do melee damage, similar, similar to the one that you did in the first game, but there is no point. You really shouldn't be doing mana damage and, you know, sorry, mana. You really shouldn't be doing melee damage with him unless you're in complete desperate measures, if you're trying to block off something. 
And even then, you shouldn't be using anything but your own creatures to do that. So, it is one of those things. But bear with me, guys. Uh, we're g I'm going to be right back, and um, we'll carry on with this uh, character screen. So, bear with me. Now we're back, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, so, let's crack on, shall we? The reason I'm actually quite excited about doing this game as a Let's Play is that I think this will be the first ever Let's Play that this will be completed from start to finish. I have seen other people, well I say very other people, like one other person that attempted to start this as a Let's Play and then he stopped at like part six, uh, 7 or 8. Uh, which is a shame because I actually enjoy this game and I wanted to see it being played properly and flourish. But obviously you don't get that so often so uh yeah i guess um i guess i'm gonna have to carry on where things go forward and obviously i'm gonna have to do this myself um i'm gonna focus <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me yes uh coughed yeah i'm gonna focus mainly on mana because again it's the most important thing to me and as you can see the more you pay for it here, like the more you use it, uh, it starts at 12, then 14, then 16, then 18, and accumulated to da 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 da. It um, increases its uh, point cost by 2 every single time. I thought that was quite annoying, to be honest, given what it is. But whatever, uh, we've literally given ourselves. 120, 140%? Yeah, I'd say 140% of extra mana, which is fantastically good. And we can accumulate one on, uh, on health or c control limit. And given that the next level is not going to really require us for too much points, we're going to go with health, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to go start us back at the Icona level, which as you can see, it, as you can see, it looks a little bit on fire, so that's not good. Uh, <laughs> either they're having like a one hell of a barbecue inside the huts, or something's amiss, even though it did tell us that it was going to be on attacked. And again, just like before, we're going to do it on wizard difficulty. I'm trying to remember now uh, to accumulate all the points. I completely forgot how to do that. Uh, so we're going to go possibly through this level more than once. I don't want to, but... These skeletons are manifestations of chaos forces, Orax. Why do they attack us? Murder and hatred are all they understand. If we do not defeat them, they will destroy us all. Now, oh, well, there you go. So, oh good, a lot of people survived. No, don't. see the problem with Nadia when she does that, she can sometimes hit the NPCs as well. I really don't like when she does that. See what I mean? Now this is the point where I have to slow down the game speed because things, these skeletons are really fast. Okay, we're gonna put a wolf on there. Because it's the same as. Good. You're regaining mana once more. I shall continue the fight here. You search for Father now. He may need us. What about you? Oh, I'll be fine. Now hurry. Yeah. As allegedly. Be fine. So, uh. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. See, I worry that these villagers aren't meant to die. Nadia's got her own mana and, and everything. She will be fine, uh, by the way, which is good. No, I missed. Didn't then. Whew. Yeah, it's much better doing it with. No, we didn't want to do that. It's much better with doing that with the uh, the numpad buttons. Trying to find out where I've got to go. This is going to be costing quite a bit of mana to do this because the mana regen on this game is actually a lot slower than it was on the pre 
previous game, die. Um, so you really do have to conser conserve your mana pretty well. Ooh, what's this? It's this Jedon, he's lying down. Now, brace yourself for a terrible, terrible dialogue. <laughs> Father! My son. My son. There were too many. They were in our home. I tried to stop them, they cut me down. What were they looking for? I do not know. <coughs> All right. My life is ending. No, Nadia will heal your wounds. It is too late to save me, but I fear for the life of Nadia. Son, you must promise me that you will protect your sister with your life. I will, father. <coughs> Speak no more, I beg you. I must. Protect Nadia now. I, I beg you, Arax. Do as I would. Defend her always. I shall. And no, I shall avenge your death. No! Father! Then I must find Nadia and protect her. <laughs> That's so remorseful. Who after. are you? And why in Danu's name are you doing this? Ah, child, my name is Melisius, and all will be revealed in good time. Just leave my village alone. I will, when there is nothing left worth taking. No! Nadia! Okay, so Nadia is... has literally just been carried off. So... And Jedon seems to have just, like, piece by piece evaporated. Which is weird. But we got a lawful talisman out of it. Always interesting. Um, oh, and there's pie there, but we're not really going to need it now, given that the level is over. Uh, there is meant to be an item somewhere around here, I think. It's across here. Yeah, there it is. So uh, we're going to actually go there. But I'm, I'm going to speed up the game because. God. The, the, the walking in this game is quite slow. So, hopefully... Well, there you go. So, a lot of things have happened, and... Does anyone know... Anyone else still, like, Jedon sounds exactly like Sean Connery? I do, personally. Sounds a lot like Giants, Sean Connery. You know, too late, my son. Yeah, so we got a... A, a summon with eagles. Again, a weak creature, but... These ones can fly, so they're a lot more convenient to use than the wolves. Um, is as it is. Um, dun dun da 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 dun. Let's reset it. A bit higher. There you go. Um, Magtor, is it? Orax. Oh, Where is Nadia? Did you see? It is not good. I saw her dragged off by a horde of skeletons. That dark wizard has had her taken. No, they take only those who have magic to turn their powers on their own kind. Nadia has power. I've seen it for myself. I must find them before they can escape me. Do not be foolish, Orax. There are many and the dark wizard is powerful. They have killed enough of our people. I have lost my father. If I lose Nadia too, I do not wish to live. Then we can only pray for you. Yeah, so... It's not good, really. I mean, the, di the, the story in this game is a, a lot more structured and s straightforward with the way the game's sort of tone is. It's still bad, though, to be honest. It's, it's a more of a funny joke to me. But, um... It's interesting, nonetheless. Magtor. This is Magtor. Arax, thank the gods you're alive. Yes, Magtor, I am. But if I don't find my sister soon, life will not be worth living. Oh my god, look. I just have to zoom in, like, look at that. Look at those meshes right there. It's so bad. <laughs> and I'm surprised, given that what engine they were working on, I have no idea. Ah! Yeah, sod. I think one of the objectives is you've got to make sure you kill all of the skeletons on this game. 
and make sure you gotta speak to everybody as well. So we're gonna really make sure we do that. I have heard about your father. I I'm sorry for your loss, Orax. It seems the battle made its way to us after all, Greymark. The Necromegas. Their Chaos Ruler seeks to rule or destroy us all. Why do they do this, Greymark? So much wasted life. They see their chance. Since the neutral orb of power was destroyed, our neutral forces have been no match for them. And there is no Magistrator to hold the powers in balance. But the Necromagus must be stopped. The slaughter cannot continue. That is why the army assembles at Karnak. But in truth, unless a new Magistrator is found, balance will never be restored and the Necromagus will defeat us one day. It cannot be! It must not! Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, weird story. Um, pretty interesting. Wow. Overdone with the skeletons right there. Ah, shit. There you go. I'm hoping that is all the skeletons. <coughs> I'm going to save it, just in case it's not, because again, I don't want to replay every single level to the point where you just have to get all the maximum amount of points. Ah, you see? Yeah, it's a new level, but... <coughs> Sorry, we're not going to do that, because... <laughs> using mid walk because we haven't defeated all the skeletons and it's somewhat annoying sometimes I don't really need that but you know whatever okay I'm not gonna constantly walk around everywhere in a slow pace Get our wolves, set them, set the hounds, set the hounds loose somewhere around. <laughs> Jeez, they are fast. You're fast when you want to be, aren't you guys? I can't tell if they're around here or not. Ugh, this is annoying. It wasn't anywhere here, was it? I'm hoping it wasn't to do with the villagers. Like, we had to s save the villagers. Because I don't remember, if I'm honest. Again, it's one of those things where I'm, I don't mind replaying just as long as I know what's going on. I mean... Somewhere will tell me what I've got to do. Hmm. This is a head scratcher already. So, there you go. Uh, so, bear with me, guys. I will be right back just to find out what I've got to do. Alright, guys. Welcome back. Um, sorry to cut you off there. I literally didn't miss anything. I literally just had to restart the level uh, just to make sure I rescued a majority of the villagers because Nadia kept killing them. So, uh, literally, it was literally just one retake, you know, I only did the level, redo the level once, and that was it, really, so no worries. Um, but we caught up now, to the maximum amount of points, and trust me, you'll want all these points, going through the level. Uh, I didn't know you could actually refund your mana, as well, I didn't know that, that's cool. But yeah, like I said, we're building it up much more than we need to. As you can see, um... We're already halfway through our mana now, but again, trust me, it's very important. I do consider, actually, now that I think about it, health more, health being more important than control limit, given that, you know, the enemy wizards can still hit you with their spells, and you will still take damage, so health is something to consider of. The next level is going to be a bit tricky, um, but just before I do anything, um, the name, I think I can try and pronounce it right, um, Cherubtis, Cherubdis, um, is actually, sorry, um, 
the company that actually developed this game was the uh, developer name um, Chirib Dis, if I'm pronouncing that right, Chirib Dis. And they're actually um, a Nottingham based company in, um, in the UK that uh, actually was the main developers for these for this game and um, it's kind of ironic and strange given that the Mythos games, I can't remember where they're from, but they're, they're quite leagues apart so uh, yeah they're quite far apart, they're not the same company at all and uh, this obviously went into a bit more detail than the predecessor, but yeah Enough about that, waffling on, I just wanted to correct myself into making sure what game company was going where and why they were developed. So, now we're introduced to the Dark Wood. Um, I can't remember if I'm doing something... Uh, yeah, I need to turn down this, because trust me, it's a lot easier playing it on a slower thing in the bob. Right, oh, so now we get access to the... Um, Port Manto, which I don't know why this thing is here. It basically just suggests that you're more involved in neutral magic than you are in lore and chaos. I don't know why that little dot there. Your wizard's alignment. Well, I don't know why it's there. But basically, <clears throat> we've got access to two spells and three talismans. Um, we don't have any chaos talismans. So we can't have anything uh, based on the... Uh, based on the, um, the chaos spells. But basically what we've got so far um, is the Deadly Nightshade. It can create a skeleton, can cast a fireball, or it can also cast berry. Now remember berry was one of the last spells you got on the previous game which cost quite a bit of mana whereas now they've actually introduced it as one of the first spells um, which I thought was pretty good but we're gonna stick with fireball because um, berry basically insta kills any it doesn't tell you that which is a shame it, it basically tells you that um, it's uh, got it, it, it pretty much can insta kill uh, undead. I say can because it's not a sure way fire, a sure fire way to do that. It can sometimes, depending on how much magic resist the undead have, can actually, you know, thwart against the spell, really. But we don't want that because we want uh, this fireball to, yeah, because if we just have berry, we won't have any fireballs or any other offensive spells. This only works for undead. And for this one, <clears throat> We have the Raise the Dead, the Heal, and the Wolf spell. Now, as you can tell, these have already changed since the first game. There wasn't the Wolf spell that we had, but the Heal's back, which is good. But we can't afford to have the Heal, because we do need creatures in this map. And we won't need the Heal, um, given that the ally we'll have next will be able to help us very help well, very gracefully. So let's proceed to a Wizard difficulty, as always. They must have come this way. I sense that sorcerer's foul magic is somewhere nearby. Okay. Yep. And uh, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of things here. Um. Hmm. Yeah, so what we've got, th these are zombies, by the way, and these zombies are really slow, but they are quite tanky and can uh, withstand a lot of damage. I'd say about five fireball attacks, so it's something to keep in mind. Um, I'm not sure if I want to use one of my spells yet. They can burn as well, which is good. I think that's always that's always cool. I need him to burn faster. Like that little chain he's got in his arm, under his arm. Great. And I'm already getting attacked. <clears throat> Neil. 
I need mana, but I can't be the one to get the mana. So, I'm going to need something else. Uh, you'll find random, um... What's the word? You'll find random summons and statues on here. This is a Breath of Fire, which is actually a much more powerful version of the uh, the Dragonfire spell. It's more powerful than a Fireball spell. It does that. Oh crap. Someone seems to be using it on me. <laughs> ah, Melisius. We meet again. Release my sister Nadia, or you will die. Who will kill me? I see no wizard to challenge my power. Just a boy. I am no boy. I am a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> you amuse me. For that, I will spare your life. Leave before my humor changes. Where is she? I have warned you, boy. Seek further, and you shall find only death. I will not leave without her. Then you shall not leave at all. Kill him! So, as you can tell... Yeah. Wow. I'm already getting... screwed by this guy already. Um... Again, I'm not going to heal, because you'll find out in a minute. Basically, uh, yeah, the writing on this game is so funny sometimes. Uh, I'm worried about my wolf, given that he's not going to be able... He's not going to be powerful enough to take on skeletons. And even if he gets to... Uh, an exalted champion... By level 3, because you can level up uh, your creatures on here, for those who don't know. It's still not worth it, because he's still too weak. You know, I'd just be wasting a lot of time. Uh, but this one's good. I've got eight berries now, which is good. And, who? who is this? Who is this? You look as though you're in trouble. Stranger, if you fight me, then you will die like them. Do not fear. The forces of chaos are my enemies, too. Let me fight alongside you. Thank you. I could use some help. I'm going to save the game here. Because, like in the first one, you get um, people who are able to aid you. And she has a very convenient spell of heal. And as you can see, her mana... And this is what I don't get about the first game. That... Sorry, about this game, is that... Their mana regenerates automatically without any help, any need of places of power. Which I kind of find a bit strange and odd, and a little bit unfair, if I'm honest. So she has pretty much unlimited mana, in that sense, and she's able to help you out. But the better thing is, is that in the second level, you are... You are you will be able to control her. Costs a lot of mana to kill those things. I'm half thinking, should I use my goblet? Ugh. I basically wanted to spam the crap out of your fireballs. Okay. He just teleported, for no reason. No idea why, but he did. So I think if it's a direct hit, you'll be able to set them on fire, which is pretty cool. Nope. Wow, nice direction. Where are you aiming, man? No, no. She can have a place of power if she wants, even though she really doesn't need it. Okay, she's wasting her mana on one hit point. See, this is this is what happens when you try to do melee attacks. They just don't work that well, even though I managed to kill him. But I'm going against four zombies at once? I don't think so. Not a good idea.
Oh, I can't tell if these are automatically generated, but... Uh... Crap. I don't want her to die. Yeah, because if, if she dies, then the, the mission will be failed, so... Thankfully, she can heal. But this is the time where the melees will have to come into play because you don't want your allies to die. There you go. Whew. No, Guyon, you cannot have the place of power. It's so greedy like that. So yeah, they're basically... The allies in this game have only one spell. For the majority of the time, they only have one spell that they can have, um, that they use. And this one is heal. Now, as much as I love... The message is a shame that they don't summon creatures to help you. The heal spell is by far a paramount spell to definitely have. It's really, really convenient and it definitely helps out in a tight spot. So that's fantastic. It works. Good. Um, and you can control them, just not in this level where you're introduced to them. Ah, but you can see them also, they're smart enough to pick up items as well. Which is good. I, I, I'm, I'm fine with that. So essentially we needed to defeat Milesius, not... We wouldn't have killed him, because that won't come until much, much later in the game. Is he going to die? No, he's not going to die. He's now. So yeah, just like before, try and find as many places of power to rejuvenate your mana as fast as possible, as much as possible. Um, I'm going to save these spells for now. Although it is fun and interesting to watch them sort of become exalted champions. Because the goblin can actually be quite strong. They basically get higher amount of, uh, what's the word, they, they get a high amount of sight range, um, higher defense, higher attack, and are a little bit faster, and once they're in the Exalted Champion, they learn a spell, which is interesting enough in itself, which is pretty cool. for him to set on, be set on fire, because it does additional damage that may save myself a fireball attack. There you go. Awesome. I'm watching my place of power right now. Ah, guy and help. Thank you. Don't think it's going to do much though. Yeah, the walls are really weak on this game. It's a shame. Yep, he's dead. But I don't think it matters, because I think we've de defeated uh, Milesius for this level anyway. Because I literally just barraged him with fireballs, and then he disappeared. Ah. Oh, wolf. If we can actually get to Milesius... It'll uh, trigger a cutscene that'll explain, uh, you know, that him leaving really. So we kind of need that sooner rather than later. Because I've already lost two places of power now, which is not good. Oh, for God's sake, great one, great one, Alrax. Thanks. You're a Depth perception is amazing. Damn it! Who is that stranger who helps the boy? Anyway, I grow weary of toying with this young whelp. Let my minions take care of him. I have greater and more important things to be taken care of. There you go, he's disappeared.
Yeah, essentially we're gonna have to kill all the undead because... That's part of the requirements of this level. Die. Come on. Why can't I see him? It's right there. Ugh. I thank you, friend. Forgive me, for I must leave now. Where do you go? To seek out their master. He has taken my sister Nadia. She has magic in her. How do you know? They are taking those with power from their homes. If the magic is strong in her, then she will be allowed to live. Why have they not taken you? I am lucky, and I fight well. It's true. The magic, it is strong in you. I must go. Wait. I know of this dark wizard that we've been fighting. He is called Milesius, a servant of the Necromagus, the Lord of Chaos. He went to the south, and I too must go that way, to the Albion city of Karnak, where an army is being gathered to fight this chaos threat. If you travel with me, I may be able to help you in your search for your sister. But I do not know you. My name is Gion. Here, take this psilocybin as a sign of my friendship. Using it in your portmanteau will allow you to summon the eagles. Thank you, Gion. Together, we are stronger. <coughs> <coughs> That is fantastically convenient. I completely forgot she also gives you uh, spells. Which is very convenient. Um, so we're just going to fast forward with this. Uh, clearing the level. And it's cool that she sticks with it. Oh no, actually, um, yeah, she's programmed to... Yeah, she's pro You can move her now, but essentially she's programmed to stick with you. Um, yeah, until the end of the level, basically. Well, until actually for a fair few levels, so... It's actually really good. She has an automatic healing spell with you know, permanent mana regeneration by herself. I don't get why... It's not just her that has this bar uh, as well, it's actually the enemy wizards. They have permanent mana regeneration as well. Without the need of uh, place of power, and I don't understand why that is. Now, regardless of what difficulty you are, they have that. So, <clears throat> the game is sort of like tailored to an unfair advantage uh, for the enemy wizards and everybody else except you. Regardless if you have more mana, it still works against you in their favour, so essentially it's always best to find the exploit because you're just gonna have a much harder time uh, playing these levels legitimately like literally going from one place of power to another when they're just going to be usurped by the enemy creatures, by the enemy wizards themselves, you know, because they're always going to have mana and there's a chance you might not have any, and if you don't, then you're screwed. It's a funky... Wait, it's a funky game, I know. Come on. Bit of overkill, yeah. I know. But I don't care. Now I'm hoping... And just all the zombies. Because I remember this level specifically is. Well, I remember this level specify, specifically is supposed to be kill all the zombies or kill all the undead, you know, wipe them out on the level, and then you'll be able to get the maximum amount of points. Which is good. But we'll, we'll see if it worked. Sorry I keep going back to the ambitions, I know, it's just daft, but it's the way the, the game has to be played sometimes, I'm afraid. Uh, did we do it? Yes! Defeated all the Chaos Troops, perfect. We got the maximum amount of points. Um, that refers to going to the battle screen, where you can have the characters that you play with. Um, so yeah. 
accumulated more points um, for no doubt it's going for the mana it's definitely has to it has to be all right I would say that's a perfect way to end it really uh, thankfully as you can see the levels are quite more quickly done um, they're gonna get a lot tougher in the further on in the game as we go uh, further as they go along in the game they're gonna get a lot tougher and we're also going to need to figure out how long we're going to determine each level. But basically for a set of levels, I think that was the best way to sort of introduce to the game and see if you're interested in carrying on watching it. So thanks all again for watching and I'll hopefully catch you in the new one. Take care.